guys is going on my name is Louis and God bless every single one of you today is March 30th 2024 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and just looking at this title it's not good absolutely not good law enforcement are investigating look at this after a trailer loaded with Bibles was that on F-I-R-E on Easter Sunday. What? Look at this. Hmm. I want to bring this up really quick and I did talk about this, but I want to bring it up one more time. We are definitely living in the uh, end times. We are getting closer to the end of ages. It says here, this is 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. Children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard, that Antichrist is coming. So now, many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. And you guys already know there was a huge announcement Saturday, March 29th, 2024, when the leader of the Sleeping Giant announced that uh, this Sunday will be, you guys already know, I'm just going to spell the name because I can't, the platform is really notorious, T-R-A-N-S. You guys already know the rest of the uh, letters. So basically, uh, the sleeping giant has been transformed to an abomination. We are witnessing the rise of the dark forces, antichrist spirits. The Bible says that in these end times, they will come. And we are seeing that right now. But don't let your heart be troubled. Because Jesus said that all this will come. And these are the signs of his return. For the first time in history, we are witnessing a sleeping giant land that once stood for God has now chosen a different path and has chosen the wicked. All right, so pay attention, stay focused in the kingdom of God. Don't let your heart be troubled. Please share this video. We're going to see what's going on here, guys. Uh, once again, um, we thank our Lord for John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So we thank God for John 3, 16. Jesus, the light that came to the world and brought the good news, and that's the gospel. And we are commanded to go out and make disciples and share the good news to many. All right, so, but uh, there is a spiritual battle going on here between good and evil. So we need to stay focused and stay, you know, just continue praying for those who hearts are in the warm path. All right, so it says here, currently you have law enforcement and others, authorities are working to investigate an incident where a trailer loaded with Bibles was intentionally set on FIRE around 6 a.m. on Easter. So the incident occurred at Mount Juliet, Tennessee, where church security cameras capture a man dropping off a trailer in the middle of the intersection, blocking the road into the church. He then exited the vehicle and set F-I-R-E to the entire trailer full of Bibles right in front of the church. Now, the blues say it appears to be an out-of-state plate, and they are actively investigating the incident. What's going on in our sleeping giant? All of a sudden, our sleeping giant are getting involved in so much uh, uh, of these uh, nation against nations, biblical war. All of a sudden, our sleeping giant are allowing millions to come into this sleeping giant land. Our sleeping giant 
are gifting and giving everything to the new ones that is coming into this land. What's going on with our sleeping giant that, uh, you know, we used to be proud of and, uh, you know, our right hand and our chest and Pledge of Allegiance and One Nation Under God. What happened to that? Well, we've seen great transformation. Let's see what's going on with this here, guys. Please share the video. And um, continue praying for the channel because, again, these type of stuff here, sometimes, you know, the platform are really strict. Really, really strict. So, again, uh, please pray for the channel. And, again, for those of you that want to help support our channel, uh, again, we do have the PayPal link, the Patreon link. Because the platform is being really strict, really strict when we bring stories out like this. But it has to be told. I mean, someone has to say something. And you guys know me. Uh, Romans chapter 1, verse 16, not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, again, it's very important that if you are, if you call yourself a follower, again, John three sixteen of Christ, then you're supposed to uh, call out all these things, the wolves, the wolves, the, uh, again, the skies and cloning of lamb. You cannot just stay silent. Uh, so it's very important in these end times, you must uh, speak out and, uh, you know, let many know because a lot of people just not uh, reading scriptures, right? So it's very important that, uh, you know, you call out and uh, the false prophets, the false teachers uh, and all these uh, abominations is going on. Investigations are underway after a suspicious trailer of FIRE in Wilson County on Easter Sunday. Once again, Wilson County, um, the Blue Office, published a statement about the incident around 9 a.m. I thought it was 6 a.m. All right, so it says here, according to official, the FIRE began around 6 a.m. Okay, 6 a.m. and caused a road closure at the old... Look at that. Look at this name. It's like it's all connected. It's like it's all connected. Leb Dirt uh, Road and Chandler Road intersection. Mount Juliet Blue Department swiftly responded to the scene. Accompanied by the Mount Juliet Fire Department, who worked quickly to extinguish the blaze. Earlier investigation led by the WSCO showed that the trailer was full of Bibles. Officials believe that the trailer was intentionally dropped off in the middle of the intersection and intentionally set on FIRE. No one was impacted, had been reported following the incident. One of our reporters spoke with the Blue, Mr. Robber, who said he has no doubt that the Bibles were... It was... You guys know the rest of that. So he says investigators are currently reviewing the security footage, and the car appears to be an out-of-state plate. Anyone with info about this incident is asked to call, you know what? Hmm. That's where we are right now. The investigation is ongoing, and as of now, we don't have any more details. So they're still looking for this person. This person that uh, has all of a sudden decided to... We don't know how many Bibles were in there. But uh, yeah, this this individual out of state, I assume, has sent a message on Easter. Hmm. This goes to tell you that we are in the right time frame and scripture is at work. Don't lose path. Don't lose. Uh, again, don't let your heart be troubled. Uh, scriptures is at work right now. We are exactly where we're supposed to be. Uh, Jesus said that these things will come. All right. So don't let your heart be troubled. Pray for them. Look at this. All 
I like the part when Jesus says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. My words will not pass away. So by doing this, again, it just, it doesn't solve anything because God's, uh, Jesus' words, God's words will never pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. When Jesus says that, we're talking about uh, the earth and the heaven, which is the heaven elements, the sun, the moon, the stars, and the heavens. Again, uh, the kingdom of heaven is a whole different ball game. That's, again, the kingdom of heaven, God, the angels, and Jesus. Then you have the heaven elements, which is space. So, uh, you know, Jesus says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So, that's the good news, that uh, his words will live forever for eternity. Remember that. Like I said, don't let your heart be troubled. All right, it says here, deputies reported that the trailer had been dropped off. We already know that. We're going to skip all this information here. I'm going to leave this link in my Twitter page if you guys want to check it out. Uh, it says here, you have Pastor Greg. Vision Bible Church took to the platform, social media, Sunday morning to share pictures of the trailer. Now, once again, Pastor Greg, who lives close to the church, said he didn't know what happened until he got to work Sunday morning. A trailer with about 200 Bibles had been set on FIRE, blocking the entrance from Old Leb Dirt Road and Chandler Radford Road into the main part of our parking lot. When Locke saw the burned Bibles in a trailer, he said, he was shocked. Yeah, because it goes to tell you that that the minds and and hearts of many are lost. You know, our Lord and Savior says that uh, the road to heaven is very narrow. Not too many people is going to find it. Basically, what our Lord and Savior is saying, uh, not too many people is going to go to heaven. There's going to be a great number of people is going to go to uh, the lake of fire. The road to heaven is very narrow. After this video, I'm going to sit down with my, my young ones and my wife, and I'm going to read John with them. I'm going to take like 30 minutes, one hour break. If you can, do the same. Do the same with your family. Open up the scriptures and get into the word. It says here, it was strange because he's he, the suspect, had his blinkers on and he scotched the wheels and everything. He was very medicalist, so he had to be very courageous to do what he did. We had people do things to our building, but being vandalized and a number of times, hence why we have to have security, but never 200 Bibles being, you know what? That's a pretty rebellious statement towards the church. And guess what? You think the sleeping giant leader is going to say something? You think the sleeping giant leader is going to say, hey, we're going to start, uh, you know, putting our foot down, those who do... No, he's not going to... You know, right now, he's probably happy. Oh, that's good news! Yay! Bunny! Easter Bunny! Yay! We got good news! Uh, so, he won't do anything about this. But, I'll tell you something. If it was the abomination FLAG being lit up... Oh, I could see Mr. Burns coming out. We going to light up the sleeping giant country with all the colors. We stand with the, you know who. The pastor said it is important for his congregation to move forward from this incident. What people think many times is going to stop us. Really? Oh, excuse me. What people think many times is going to stop us really just encourages us. That's what it is. Amen to that. Uh, when stuff like this happens, it just gives us the the uh, the motivation to get more into the world, like, you know, and more into prayer. 
praying. In a weird way to know what we are doing, what's right. All right, so that's where we at right now. That is where we at right now. So don't let your heart be troubled. There's things that's gonna come. And Jesus said there will be persecution. How quickly the sleeping giant has been transformed. You have to ask yourself, what happened? Well, it starts at home. It starts in the church. Seems like many of us has fallen away and this is the consequences. So it's very important to, if you watch this video, you have the, the chance to repent right now from your sins and get into the word once again, because that's the only way. John three sixteen, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I, I mean, he's the only way. So we are seeing right now, guys, that, uh, you know, little by little, those in the spotlight, they're not going to hide it anymore. And just wait till December comes. My goodness. Hmm. What happened? Well, like I said, pray for each other in these tough times. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.